Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be another work centric video and I will be focusing on my favorite season to dress for and that is autumn. So today's video, I'm going to be talking you through my five autumn workwear essentials. We have a few things to get through, so let's just get cracking. Now my first autumn workwear essential is a knit dress and I have a couple of styles that I wanted to talk you through. The first is one style that I constantly come back to year on year. If you have been around here for a while then you will definitely recognize this one. It is one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe and it is this dress that I have from Reese. Despite it being a number of years old it's still in great shape and it's one of their classic styles as well and so they release this style dress in different colors every year. Now I bought this dress primarily to wear to the office but it is one of those wardrobe chameleons because I've been able to wear it to weddings as well as to dressier events and date nights and yada yada because it's just been really easy to style. I find that when you change up a shoe or when you add additional accessories around your head then it can really change up the look and so I've been really pleased with this one and pleased with all of the styling options that it's presented to me. I get a few questions about this one as well every time I feature it because I do appreciate that it is a bit of an investment particularly from a brand like Reese, which is a high street store. The main gripe about it from a lot of you that are asking me these questions is about the fabric composition. I appreciate that it doesn't contain very much wool content, but despite that, I have found it to be very good quality. For some reason, this fabric is very resistant to pilling, which I think is quite important when it comes to a knit dress. And so hopefully that gives you enough information to sit with if you have been mulling over it. But when it comes to autumn workwear essentials, I think that a knit dress doesn't have to be this exact one will be a very welcome addition as you navigate the cooler temperatures. You can chuck a blazer on top to look a little bit more corporate-y or you can just wear it on its own and it looks great as it is. The other dresses that I wanted to share with you are the knit dresses that I have in my wardrobe from Romaine Berger Christensen. They're in the wash at the moment but I've got several styles. I've got a favourite one in a buttercup yellow colour. I've got one in a navy colour and I find that sort of the collared style with the buttons looks very sophisticated, very minimal. They're just so easy to style as well. I find that you can just wear them on their own. You can chuck a blazer on top. Great for that transitional period. So a knit dress, highly recommend. The second autumn workwear essential is the ankle boot. And I have several styles on rotation in my wardrobe, but I have to say that the pair that I wear most during the cooler seasons would have to be my RM Williams boots. I have spoken about these a number of times on the blog. I have featured these in quite a few videos on my YouTube channel. And I have a lot to say about this particular style because I tried on many styles in their store and this particular style, the Lady Yearling style, just came out on top. I think that it is the perfect ankle boot, particularly if you enjoy a smart casual wardrobe. There's the Millicent, which is more of a cowboy boot. I find that it's a little bit too pointy if you are petite. There's also the Adelaide boot, which is a flatter boot. But I find that this boot, which has a five centimeter heel and sort of a rounded almond toe is just perfect. It straddles both dressy and casual. This has been an amazing addition to my wardrobe. They're very comfortable. They're excellent quality. They are pricey. I would say that they are priced more as a luxury boot. I think they are now six $150, something like that. They could be even more, I can't remember. I will put the price on screen for you. But I do think that they're worth it because I feel like when you buy these boots, you are buying them for life. I don't intend on replacing them. I think that as they age, I will love them even more. I obviously have to give these a little bit of TLC because as you can see that I have scratched those on the side just from day to day use. But I haven't ever polished these or buffed these. So perhaps it's just needing a little bit of care on my part. I have neglected these. I still just really love them. Now they come in this chestnut brown color and they also come in black, but I think RM Williams boots are quite iconic in this color and I found them to be really easy to style. They look great with navy, they look great with black. And I also like how you have the option with these boots to choose the leather sole or the rubber sole. And I of course have chosen the rubber sole because I am clumsy and can fall on a flat path. But I found that the rubber sole is really robust. I mean, that's with years of use and I think that that's pretty good wear and tear considering I have walked so much in these. So yes, a great time to whip out 
the autumn boot. Another style that I wanted to share with you is this pair from Ally Shoes, which I have also featured on my blog and on the channel. This I would say is the dressier ankle boot that I have in my collection. They are slightly higher, seven and a half centimeter heel, a block heel. But as I have spoken about before on my channel, Ally Shoes have all of these comfort features embedded in their design. There's like a toe bed, there's additional padding inside. There is a deeper heel cup so that your foot stays really stable inside the shoe. They are incredibly comfortable. And I think it's one of those shoes that you just have to try to understand why they're so comfortable. All of the heels now that I wear to work are pretty much from Ally Shoes. I think that they have ruined all of the other shoes in my wardrobe. And the boots are exactly the same. They've got the same comfort features inside all of their designs. Probably difficult for me to show you now because it's in a boot. But if you watch my dedicated video about Ally Shoes, then you'll be able to learn a little bit more about them because they are fantastic. And something that I don't have in my wardrobe yet, but I am mulling, are a pair of ankle boots from Baird Footwear. Because as you know, throughout the summer, I was wearing a fair few of their summer sandals to work. And they've got a great selection of flat ankle boots or sort of low block heel ankle boots that I think are amazing. So I'm just gonna pop some images and videos of me trying on those shoes. There are a couple of styles that I've got my eye on and they are incredibly comfortable as well. They are shoes that I can walk all day in. In fact, all of these shoes I could walk all day in, including the Ally boots as well. I think with that, all of these boots are also investments, but that's because when you are adding these to your wardrobe, it's not going to be sort of like a fleeting purchase. You will be relying on these for many years to come. At least that's how I approach those additions to my wardrobe anyway. So there we go, ankle boots for autumn. I think a match made in heaven, if I say so myself. <laughs> stick with the shoe theme for the third autumn workwear essential and that is a pair of loafers. I have not worn loafers during the warmer months. I get a lot of questions about this as well. I think in Australia particularly or in Sydney where I live it can be really humid and I don't wear socks with loafers. I just wear them as is. So I find that my feet can get pretty sweaty and I don't like that feeling and so I just tend to avoid these during the hot weather but autumn is when I start breaking these out again and as you know I love my Gucci loafers. I've had them for a few years now and I think they're amazing. I've got the rubber sole, then I got the cobbler to put on these and I think that they're incredibly classic. So I'm looking forward to whipping out my loafers again. If you're not really a loafers person then you can definitely go for like a ballet flat or a pointed flat. I have pointed flats in my wardrobe as well when I want to change up the silhouette but I'm very much a loafers person. These have featured constantly on my blog and on my YouTube channel. I've got a dedicated video about these and how much I love them and how I enjoy styling them. Definitely a workwear staple for me. And cost per wear of these have been pretty good now. I know the price has gone up in recent years, but I'm pretty pleased that I managed to nab them when I did. So there we go. That is workwear essential number three. <laughs> The next autumn worker essential is knitwear, which is a little bit of a no-brainer, but I have several styles of knitwear that I typically whip out during the autumn season. Now, the first would be a merino base layer. And if you have watched any of my videos on my channel, then you will know that I love the merino knits from Arquette. I have only three here in my pile to show you, but I have about six or seven in my wardrobe because they are amazing. They're a great base layer. They are slightly sheer. They're really fitted and they're a really sophisticated, they're like my autumn winter t-shirt. Just really sophisticated, looks great, laid under a blazer, under a jacket, worn on their own. I just think that they're just incredible quality. And now that I've had them for about three or four years, at least the very first one that I added anyway, and it's still in my wardrobe, I just think that they're amazing quality. They're quite easy to care for as well. I wash them in the machine, but I put them inside a delicates bag and I make sure that the machine is on a hand wash cycle on cold wash and they come up great. In fact, this torpy color, which I don't know whether is available now, this one I've had for a number of years and it's still in excellent shape. I haven't actually had any holes in any of them as well. It's not delicate like pantyhose. I've had that asked of me. Definitely isn't the case with these. They're quite robust. It's one category of knitwear that I would recommend. The next category of knitwear would be like a cozy cashmere knit. Not an oversized kind of turtle neckish one. I think that's probably more so a winter item. I've got several from Everlane that have been in my wardrobe now for the past four or five years. This style I've been really enjoying too. This is from Lily Silk. This is a polo neck style 
which looks quite dressy with the collar. It looks very work appropriate. So yes, a bougie sort of cashmere sweater. And the last category of knitwear that I wanted to touch on that is very autumn centric is a cardigan. This is a cashmere style that I have from Theory, which I bought from the Outnet. The Outnet is a dangerous, dangerous place. It's so good. There's so much on there and the prices are so amazing. Warning to anyone who's about to browse on the outnet. <laughs> I think a cardigan is great and these days I'm not really wearing a blazer to the office every day and on the days that I'm not, when I need like an outerwear piece, it'll be a cardigan. Really nice relaxed silhouette, a little bit preppy, which I'm currently into as well. So there we go. Whole suite of knitwear options for you to choose from during this autumn period. <laughs> And lastly, to round up this essentials list, my fifth autumn workwear essential is a trench coat. A bit of a no-brainer, I appreciate. And a trench coat isn't just an autumn thing either. It's an autumn all the way to the end of spring thing for me. I wear trench coats for about three seasons, particularly with the climate that we're enjoying in Sydney. Now I have several trench coat options in my wardrobe. I have more than is required in terms of a trench coat collection. You don't need as many trenches as I have, but I did want to highlight some favorites. My first one is from Mark and Spencer. This one is very inexpensive. It's very well made. It's made of a water resistant fabric as well. I will link the current version that is available on their website because it constantly sells out, but it is a style that they bring out year on year. The next style that I wanted to highlight is the Cezanne style. This one is around the $400 mark, but it is incredible quality and it's got all of the details that you would expect in a premium quality trench. Now I've tried on Burberry trench coats that now retail for about $4,000 and the Cezanne trench coat is not much different in terms of the style. If you've had your eye on a Burberry trench coat, but you are well and truly priced out considering its current retail price, no doubt it's gonna go up again. Then a Cezanne trench coat will definitely fill that void. It is fantastic. And I would say that the Cezanne trench coat is very similar to the Waterloo style Burberry coat. It's a little bit longer, it's a little bit more oversized, very much my vibe. And the last trench coat that I wanted to share with you, which is new to my collection, this was one from an Australian brand called Sportscraft. And that they actually sent this to me. This I would say is the statement trench coat that I have in my wardrobe because of the print. It's got a really lovely houndstooth print, which looks rather classic, rather sophisticated. It is very easy for you to tell if a trench coat is poor quality. And I would recommend that you don't go for one of those because you will likely replace it. Think go for one that is good quality, just invest slightly more. It will still be a fraction of the Burberry trench coat, but you will definitely be able to find a good quality trench coat within the budget that you are working with. I assure you, so many different options. And while I'm here, if a trench coat is not your thing, then can I also recommend a Macintosh coat, which is different from a trench coat in the sense that it is single breasted. It's more simplified in its design. I think it's also known as a car coat, depending on who you're asking. But I have a Macintosh coat here from Everlane, which I've had for about three years. And I love this guy because it's very simple and very minimal. When I don't want to be too trenchy, my Macintosh coat has been a great alternative. I would recommend that if you are keen on getting a Macintosh coat, then you get one that's slightly oversized, but it's so that I've got additional room to layer a chunky knit when I want to wear it during the winter time. And same as a trench coat, you will find that they are typically made from that water resistant fabric. And so if you're stuck, in a little bit of drizzly weather, then it's no drama. So I cannot wait for the weather to cool down so I can start whipping out all of my coats again. Bring it on. Anyway, I hope you were able to draw some inspiration for your own autumn workwear wardrobes from some of the pieces that I was able to share with you today. I'm sure that you've got a lot of similar items in your wardrobe or variations of what I've shown you and then be able to put an autumn twist on. But yes, I'm very much looking forward to the cooler weather and I'll be uploading some additional autumn videos on my channel very soon. Ones I'll be focused on outfit combinations for those of you that don't really want to think about it too much. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will have everything linked in the description section below and if you like this video let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!